Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me. Now I'm going to be showing you Euphoria running on a Nexus 6. It does in fact come with Android version 5.0.2 and it is running a lean kernel which is currently 1.8 on the January 18th, 2015 build. Now I just want to make a quick note that I did have some issues with screencasting and screen recording with previous versions. The January 18th build does in fact resolve those issues so I'm very happy they fixed that. Now it does have an OTA process and this is in fact 100% working right now. It will do a check now manually or you can actually have it check on a daily basis and if there is in fact an update available it will have flash where the check now is. So it will go through and actually flash this for you 100% working. You won't have to go in and manually wipe and flash each time. So that's very nice that that is a feature with this ROM that is in fact working. Now we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at some of the features that come with this ROM. One of the first sections you'll notice is the button menu. In here you can actually enable or disable the navigation bar. Now there is something I want you to be aware of. The default is in fact 48 dp, but if you change this or resize this specifically with this ROM, it will squish this navigation bar. It does not look that great um, mostly just the back button there is very squished. Now this isn't an issue with other ROMs, so hopefully they will fix this with future updates. Um, hopefully they will become aware of that because it is kind of a bummer because most ROMs don't have that issue. Now you can adjust the left-handed mode in landscape uh, accordingly if you don't want to reposition the entire phone orientation-wise. You can actually just go in here and do it software-based. So that's a nice little feature. Um, I don't really use the navigation bar, I use Pi controls, but if you do use it, just be aware it does squish that back button for some reason. Now, one of the biggest things that I like about this is the power menu, and a lot of ROMs that I have tried so far do not have this specific, this specific feature set, and I hope they adapt it because it's one that I really, really like and I'm finding myself to like a lot. Um, normally, Default Android will come with just a power off when you hold down the power button, but you can actually go in here, you can put your sound panel toggles on, airplane mode, you go to a profile, uh, you can put screenshot, screen record, as this does come with a integrated screen recording, I'll go over that in a minute, or just a reboot. So if you hold the power button down now, you will see uh, all those features I enabled are now available. So very, very cool to have that option. Uh, a lot of ROMs don't have this, and hopefully they will adapt this in the future or at least the ones I was using, like Pure Shamu, Liquid Smooth, uh, they currently don't have that, although you can get most of those options out of the ROM itself. It um, does have a wake-up device uh, and the volume buttons. You can seek with the volume buttons as well, and you can change, uh, invert the volume rockers based on landscape mode if you want to. You can also end calls with the power button if that's something you like. So very, very nice in button menu. You have a lot of options there. Uh, display, there's nothing too major. We do have rotation. You can go in here and enable that 180 degrees if you want full 360 degrees of rotation on your phone. Uh, the font size is going to be adjustable by a percentage value and you'll be able to see it in real time instead of just small, medium, large defaults um, that might require a soft reboot. Um, in terms of casting, like I mentioned before with the casting and the built-in integrated screen recorder, previous versions were just given a solid green screen so it wasn't really usable. However, they have fixed that issue with the latest 18th, January 18th build, so I'm very happy they resolved that issue. There is a limitation, though, and you can only record up to 720 HD. As with other recorders that you will purchase off the Google Play Store, will let you do a maximum of the actual screen resolution offered on the Nexus 6. But uh, pretty nice to have that feature just on here on default and uh, available. And it does, in fact, work with the current 18th build. You do have double tap to sleep, which is fully functional by double tapping on the status bar. Double tap to wake also works. So very nice that that is built in with this ROM and the Nexus 6. Um, in terms of sound and notification, this specific ROM does come with a very nice selection of ringtones and notification sounds of a very, very nice list. Most ROMs are very minimal in that regard and don't offer you too much. So lots of options available with this ROM. And you have a couple little things like notification access. You can go in here and enable, disable certain specific apps. Uh, you can do your app notifications. You can go in here and load specific settings. And you can change your head up notifications. You can add do not disturb or blacklisted apps. You can also change the timeout based on whichever value you choose. And you can do a quick access button on the header of the status bar. Or you can disable it completely. So very, very nice feature set there. All found in your sound and notification options. Another thing to note is if you actually hit your sound rocker, you have the option to change it. 
you know, freehand if you want by just pushing the volume rocker there. Most don't offer that, so it is nice that you can get that from this ROM. And that is all found in the sound and notification menu. Everything else is pretty standard in that section. You do have a custom in the personal menu here. And you can go up in here and you can change stuff in your status bar. Specifically, you can change the battery status style icon. You can do icon based on portrait or landscape, which is the default looking battery icon up there at the top. Um, I like the circle. Very, very nice. And you can put the battery percentage. You can hide it like the default, or you can place it inside or next to the icon specifically. So pretty cool little feature set. You can enable or disable your carrier label. I use AT&T. You can show Verizon, Sprint, uh, T-Mobile accordingly. So you have the option to disable that. You have your notification count, tickers, super user indicator, brightness control by sw you know sliding from left to right on your status bar up there. We'll change or adjust your brightness. And you can show your weather on the status bar header as well through a soft reboot. So some pretty cool little features and options you can select from the status bar. You have your notification drawer section here. And really, really cool with this ROM specifically that other ROMs don't have is you can adjust your tiles and you can actually add some extra ones like color inversion or hotspots. But most specifically, you push and hold and you can actually adjust the priority of which specific features and toggles you use. So very, very cool. And to add on top of that, you can actually enlarge or disable the enlargement on the first two up here. So if you use two specifically the most, you can make those extra highlighted on the first roll or just make everything the same. So very, very nice functionality right there. Uh, you can also do advanced location quick settings. You can do a quick pull down, which will make it go straight to toggles. If you pull down on the right or just your notifications on the left, you also have your brightness slider, which will disable the actual slider right here. So if you never really change your brightness, that's a very cool feature. If you change your brightness a lot, then it will still be there accordingly based on that uh, specific option. You also have your auto close panel, vibrate on touching tiles if you want feedback on vibration, and you can disable it on the lock screen if you don't want people to get into your toggles while it's sitting on your desk or if you are accidentally um, awaking your screen while it's in your pocket and you're aware, you know, you don't want anything to be adjusted. You have your clock widget and you can go in here and adjust things based on their information and values that they give you here. So if you enable weather, you'll obviously have to go in here and adjust things accordingly and then do a soft reboot for it to take effect. In terms of the search bar, if you go into your recents, you'll notice that there is now a search bar. So you can able or enable or disable that accordingly. You'll see it's no longer up there at the top. Really, really cool feature as well with Euphoria is you can turn on that clear all button. And normally it's going to be located up here by default. Stock doesn't give you that, stock Android. So you can actually enable that. And as I mentioned, you can change and place the button itself wherever you want, top, top left, right, bottom right, bottom left. I have mine defaulted to the bottom right. So you will notice that it's now right here. So very, very cool that you can locate that in each corner specifically based on your preference. And you can enable or disable the option to dismiss all tasks except for the one that is currently open. So that's all found in custom. You can go in here and they do have theme option. You can get themes through the Synergen Mod theme showcase, which is a premium service mostly. You do have to pay for themes. So if you are you know, willing to spend money on actual themes, you can use that. Um, there are a couple free ones in the Play Store, but you do have the option to try out some themes and get into specific settings there. So that's a very, very nice little feature. And obviously it'll probably get better over time. You do have your system profiles and you go in here and adjust toggles based on profiles, uh, which settings you want to have enabled or disabled depending on your location. So that's very, very nice. And you can access that through the profile here on your menu power button option if you do have that enabled or disabled accordingly. Um, everything else is pretty much the same on most ROMs here. Nothing too crazy um, except for when you get into privacy. You do have that privacy guard which will protect your personal data based on which applications you want to enable or disable. You have your blacklist option as well to blacklist numbers and you can go in and filter notifications based on applications as well if you choose. Um, everything else is pretty standard. You do have date and time options. If you want to adjust that date and time up there, you just go down here to the bottom where it says status bar and you can disable the clock completely. You can adjust the center or right alignment 
and you can adjust the AM and PM based on smaller normal fonts, or you can show the date specifically, and you can do a style upper, upper lower case, and you can adjust the format just to about anything you like, even with a custom format. So very, very nice feature set there in date and time if you want to adjust that accordingly. Everything else is pretty much standard. You do have developer options, so default is going to have your advanced reboot disabled. So you will find that in your developer options and you will want to enable that. What that is, is if you go in here and push reboot in your quick toggle, power off menu, you will get a select options of reboot, soft reboot, recovery boot loader. So make sure you go into developer options and enable that. If it's not, I'm pretty sure it comes disabled. And if you were a fan of adjusting your animation scales and duration scales, you do have a percentage value as well in your developer options as in, in here. Instead of just a defaulted value in most ROMs, you can go in here and adjust it based on a percentage value. But that's pretty much Euphoria in a nutshell. It does have an OTA process, which does in fact work 100% compatible with the Nexus 6 currently, at least with version from the January 18th build. And it, like I said, it does run Lean Kernel 1.8 with this specific build. And the mirror casting, screen casting, and screen recorder is fixed. Previous builds will give you a solid green screen. If you have any issues in the future with future updates, the January 18th build does in fact resolve that issue, so you might have to roll back accordingly or update accordingly if you use these functions or want to use these functions. But that's pretty much this ROM in a nutshell, and I can say that Lean Kernel is very, very nice. It's very stable. It's very good on battery performance and stability. Uh, but you can use whatever you want. Um, if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to my channel as I have more stuff on the way. And until next time, guys, peace.